Hi everyone, um, this video is a review of the second assignment in um, Art History's 1133 Historical Art and Design class. This is a new assignment, it is called the Restitution Debate Project, um, and it is a group assignment. Um, so I will be assigning the groups completely randomly um, from the um, list of students in the class. Um, you will be getting this list um, on Monday uh, of week nine, um, and you have three weeks to complete this project. Um, this group assignment will gather you in small cohorts for a discussion of how institutions have come to acquire and exhibit works from other cultures, other places, other geographies, other times. Each group will be assigned a specific work or group of works that have become or are the topic of debate about who owns antiquity or um, cultural project, products, excuse me, uh, how the current institution exhibits them and whether art should be returned to their place of origin, sort of that's what restitution is. Um, your group will collectively create a Google slideshow documenting your discussion and findings. And this is worth 20% of your grade. So let's look at the specifics of the assignment by going to the next slide, please. Slide one, slide two. <laughs> okay, so um, the works of art uh, I have selected and you will be assigned. So one group will be given uh, a group of um, sculptures that are collectively called the Benin bronzes. Um, and you will also be given when you receive an email that has your group, it has your work. And the other thing that I will do is give you several resources so that you will know where to begin your work. I will give you links to articles and links to websites because it's quite likely that you have never seen these, you don't know what they are. So I will direct you to the places you need to go to look up information about these works which have been requested um, uh, to be uh, returned to, um, well, that's a big question. Where are they and where are they returning to? So that will be part of your assignment to do that research. Here is another statue. Uh, it is currently uh, at the Getty Museum in uh, California. It's a statue of victorious youth. It too has become the subject of some debate about whether it belongs in California or whether it belongs back in Europe. So another group will have this statue. The third group will have the bust of Nefertiti here with a very dashing woman in a museum looking at her. Uh, the government of Egypt has requested her return from Germany. We've discussed this in class. Um, the zodiac heads from the summer palace in China, which was destroyed, um, and some have been returned, some have not been found, located, returned. Um, so one group will have the 12 zodiac heads. And then the final group will have Egon Sheila's portrait of Wally. Um, and this, in a way, stands for all of the artwork that was looted, robbed, stolen by the Nazis during World War II, and the very complex debates about whether these works uh, should be returned and how to return them to their original owners. Um, so <clears throat> the next slide, I just don't know why I can't forward it the normal way. So I'm doing this, I apologize. So how do you do this project? You will have a share, you, somebody will make a Google slideshow. Uh, <laughs> one of you will take that responsibility, you will start, you will share um, the document so that you can all be working on it simultaneously. And uh, the, sec the first section of your uh, Google slideshow will have uh, a description of your objects. So I've just gone through, each group will have to tell me how, what the thing is that we are talking about. What does it look like? How big is it? Is it a 
one object or multiple pieces. Um, you've been practicing description in your journal entries. Um, and uh, so I want you to write a very nice description of this thing. It's not one sentence. It's not three sentences. It's a nice bulky formula, <laughs> uh, formal analysis of the actual object. Then the second section will uh, present uh, the restitution request. Who has uh, said this thing actually belongs somewhere else? Um, and so you will describe to me in writing um, what the call is for the return of the objects. The next section will do the next, the similar thing, but the response. So for example, the Benin bronzes, some of them are in France. Um, Here's uh, the institutional or governmental response. This is where you write it down. This is where you say, well, here's what the place that owns these things, whether it's a museum or it's a uh, country or whether it's a person, uh, this is their response to the request for restitution. And then you might have a discussion to share with me, I hope you do, in which you say, you know, our group thought that this side was right, or our group thought the other side was right, or our group actually uh, didn't agree. And several people really thought that this was the right idea, and several other people thought this was the right idea. So um, it's your group response to the whole situation. I want you to outline the pros and cons of the requester for restitution and the responder, but then I also want to hear your group thoughts. Do you think nobody's right? Uh, do you think everybody's crazy? Um, can you not come up with a consensus? And if so, why not? It probably will be difficult. Okay, so here are the rules and regulations of the assignment. Um, you're not going into this blindly. Don't panic. I will give each group links with several articles and websites that will help you with your research. You're not confined to only these resources. However, this is just where I get to be such a stickler because I don't want you to just Google your object and choose the first links that come up. I want you to use common sense and uh, your college student know uh, knowledge. <laughs> Uh, to choose good websites. So you cannot use Wikipedia. There's a thing called My Modern Met, which comes up a lot. It's not a source that I approve of. Um, and online encyclopedias. Um, those are just not good sources. So um, if you have questions about whether something is a valid source, you can always email me. I've also put the link on this page to the library at CCAD, which uh, gives you clues about how to evaluate re your research. And on week three of our Ghost Studio class page, I've also uh, put links. Um, and so you should easily be able to go to our class page and see um, how to evaluate websites. Um, and then if you do use these sources in your writing, I do want you to cite your sources and you can put the footnote in the speaker section of the slideshow. Um, this is an assignment where writing matters. So even though it's a slideshow, so I want you to write in full sentences and paragraphs. I do not want bullet point sort of go lists. Um, you may add additional information and imagery to your uh, slideshows. Um, and then uh, once they're finalized, the documents will be shared with the entire class. Um, this is a group project. So I do expect participation from each member of the group. You can decide and meet up as you wish. So in previous years, when I've had group assignment, students either decide that they're going to text each other or they're just going to use email or they're going to go use Zoom, which we're not allowed to use uh, in formal class, but if you guys decide to use Zoom by yourselves, that's fine, or Google Meet or anything else. Uh, your group then has to decide how to split up the work so that everybody is doing an equitable job. Um, this is your responsibility for this class. Um, I'm here to help. I'm here to answer any questions. Um, there is no uh, um, minimum page number for the slideshow. Um, 
but uh, I want it to be a comprehensive discussion. So um, I'll be checking in on you, seeing how you're doing. Um, I think the due date is on our calendar and um, on the Go Studio page. So check that out for the specifics. Um, okay, I hope this helps. Cheers. <laughs>